All right, time to play some H3 VR. It's been a while. I'm not dead, just to let you guys know, but uh, yeah, I've been kind of busy outside of uh, playing video games, so, you know, real life stuff happening. Obviously, they're starting to roll out the vaccine here, though right now it's only for old people and people with uh, a major health issues, so I'm still waiting on mine. My parents, they got their vaccine, so it's like... <laughs> they're safe i'm still vulnerable i guess but uh yeah you know just uh real stuff happening out there i haven't had much time to play video games but a new update came today as you can see on the table there also a new update last week but i wasn't here then either so yeah hopefully everything is recording properly audio levels look good all right Let's check out, uh, oh, you know what? Let's check out last week's uh, weapon as well. So let's spawn some Sosix. Hopefully. Uh, I don't know if I'm hearing audio. Okay, that seems to be working. All right, so this is the big boomer, right? Little meat fortress weapon. Uh, basically a gigantic shotgun that fires two gauge triple hit and uh before we do anything let me actually just uh grab a miscellaneous miscellaneous <laughs> miscellaneous i want to say miscellaneous miscellaneous <laughs> uh let me grab the uh, animal ammo panel here and uh so it's just triple hit okay cool all right first time using this so uh that on there there's uh, no other controls we do we do have a uh, up on the touchpad to release or break open the uh, shotgun look at those uh, little extractors out there popping out and no other control you can't spin the shotgun wait could you spin the shotgun hold on no I'm no no that's yeah that, you can't spin the shotgun but let's fire this off Oh, wait, hold on. Did it fire both barrels? Oh, it did. Well, cool then. Oh, grab the uh, grip there. Hmm. Cool. It's uh, basically a super shotgun. And actually, I think there is a bit of a knockback when you use it. Or at least I think there is. Damn, that was a good one. <laughs> you don't even you don't even have to aim it at them. Just aim it at the ground. Oh, yeah. This is pretty fun. Oh, you know what? I think I forgot to turn off the uh, bullet trails from when we had the grenades happening. Hold on. Let me uh, get a little bit further back. Yeah, there is a little bit of pushback, right? I love these little ejectors. Come on. Oh, there we go. You fire one. Although, I think Anton did fix that. I remember seeing people having uh, an issue with... Uh, Firing, uh, or was that the other one? Was that the Cartoon 8 gauge? I don't remember exactly, but there was a bug that Anton fixed. 
that rela uh, related to one of these shotguns. Okay, let me just uh, finish off these uh, sosigs here. Then we can move on to uh, some of the other weapons that were dropped today. Boom. Fires both barrels at once. That was a weird little thing there. That's pretty cool. Wait. I think I got everybody, right? Except for these last two Sosigs. There you go, the big boomer. And again, it does have a little bit of that pushback. Just slightly. It's not uh, cartoony levels like the Cartoon 8 gauge. Which, uh, whoop. let's just spawn here for a bit. I want to play around with that. The OG, sorry. Cartoon 8 gauge. Or, this is 3 gauge now. 3 gauge lol. <laughs> yep, this one still has a uh, crazy, uh, Knockback. <laughs> all right, well. All right, let's move on from the uh, break action shotguns here. Let me just gr get rid of these. Oop. Look at that model, though. Those extra those are, the, the extractors are really cool, like that popping out and stuff. <clears throat> okay, let's move on to the latest additions to the game. All right, let's grab this. Oh, put this in a slot there. Nope, can't, uh, can't sling that. But I will spawn lock these. Where am I going to put this? Over here? Yes, okay. I can spawn lock the bear trap. Okay. All right, let's clear out these sosigs. Let's spawn a bunch of them. All right. First up, we got the bear trap. Basically, you open it, you drop it. Just, yeah, you know, throw it there. Whoa, okay. All right, let's put one here. That's, uh, whoop. At least, uh, that's a good thing, though. You can't, uh, trigger it by stepping on it, though. Yeah, uh, no, no, I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> All right. I was just thinking maybe if you had the SoSig player model on, maybe you might be able to trip it, but I don't think that's uh, possible. So we just drop a couple bear traps over here. Uh, that would be good enough. So, yeah, you basically open it up, you drop it, and then they're just going to walk around. Oh, that guy died. Oh, they're coming for the Sosa guns, right? Yeah. I'm man now. Oh, fuck. Come on. Somebody. But you saw what happened, right? Uh, no one heard that, right? Oh, come on. Oh, you know what? I'm going to help you guys. Oh, no. Well... <laughs> Here, here, here. Hold here. Come here. Oh, it didn't trigger properly. Oh, I should just throw them on there. Oh, no. That was a little too far. Oh. There we go. All right. You know what? We all have seen what happens with the bear trap. Now let's see what happens with the new gun that Anton added. Called the aerial denier. Okay. <laughs> so six just. Well, you know what? Got two minigun barrels. Oh, 
know, <laughs> uh, if you could stick a bayonet at the end of these, that'd be pretty funny if it would actually work. It is pretty weighty, so it will crunch a lot of sosigs, but best way is. Of course, you can uh, halfway, like, oh god, what's that called? You can hold the button, uh, the trigger, sorry, the, the trigger down halfway to pre-spin your barrels, just like other miniguns. And then pull it all the way to fire. Oh, am I out of ammo? All right. Whoop, got somebody. But, yeah. Oh, hey, we got a survivor. There you go. The aerial denial. Or, denier. <laughs> denial. <laughs> Very cool little uh, double, double barreled. I guess you can call it a double barreled minigun. And uh, yeah, those are the new weapons added. Actually, you know what? Let's just clean this all up here. Oop. Okay. Let's see uh, if I can try something before I move on to. Uh, Actually, playing the game instead of showing off weapons here. Let's see. I don't see anything. Let's go to Meat Fortress here. Look at some of the uh, stuff here. Can we put... Uh, I don't think we can put a suppressor on this. It's a little too big. Nope. All right. Yeah. Anton had to do some weird kind of a, a compromise to get at least two of these barrels so yeah it kind of makes sense you can't really put anything at the tip but that's all right because it's still pretty cool oh wow <laughs> i just love both the barrels they are uh, both the both of them spinning you know all right uh that's uh that's it right we got the bear trap we've got the big boomer we've got the Aerial Denier. And, uh... Wait, I just want to try one more thing before we move. Where's the big boomer? Oh, wait, this is a double barrel, huh? Okay. I don't think you can put any, uh... I don't think you can put any... Any attachments on the front. No, because there's two barrels. What about... Not a grip, sorry. I need a stock. Let's see. If there's a stock point here, don't think so. Nope, because it is a meat fortress weapon. All right, cool. Well, let's actually use these against. Uh, oh, that's just too big to fit against some other sosigs in an actual mode. So let's go and return to the main menu. All right. Okay, cool. You know what? It's been a while since I played Beat Fortress. Let's actually jump into that. Just a quick little uh, thing. Ooh, a little bit of slowdown there. That's okay. Uh, let me see. All right. Well, we've got the guns over here. Let me just grab them. Uh, we're heavy. Here we go. Aerial Denier. Whoops. 
Okay, let's put this there. Uh, a little bear trap for our troubles. I don't know where to actually put this. I'll be over there? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and then let's grab the big boomer as well. Let's just stick this ammo here. There we go. Let's get prepared, load up everything. Okay, cool. Let's get this stuff set up. Let's see, blast jumping, off, music on. I'm on the red team, 1616. We'll do fast, fast. And we'll just do center. There we go. All right. This contest is making me long. Where is everybody? Probably inside the uh, building. Whoa! Is that our spy? Can't tell. The blue team. Whoa! He'll give us health. Somebody's shooting off rockets in there. Ah, there's a turret. Whoops. <laughs> this probably got in my way. Sorry, right, buddy. Ah, these guys are uber charged. Oh, man. These explosions. <laughs>
rocket to the face there. Oops, scout. <laughs> Got my way. Excuse me, guy. Throw some bear traps in there. Whoa. Scout. Whoa, where'd you come from? Got him. Ah, too many people close to each other. <laughs> Point blank. Mini gun to the face. Bear traps down here. Whoops. Ah, got away. Oh, they're over there, that's why. <laughs> it's so chaotic. burger turret here there we are that's that's where they're spawning from whoops grab it
Oh no, he ubercharged. I'm out of here. <laughs> Oh wait, that was our spy. Oh, the one up there, there we go. Get out of the way, please. A couple of bad guys over here. Blue team. All right. Uh, I guess uh, the medic kind of healed my wounds there, so now I got full health again. All right. I'm going to do one more. Oops. Come on. There we go. I don't know where my walls are, so I'm trying to be careful not to hit them. All right, let me get back to the center of my play space here. This game mode is so hectic, uh, I've lost track of where. Oh, I forgot that this thing shoots both barrels at once. Oh, gotcha. Sniper. And I can't see anything in here, so reloading is pretty hard. Oh! Oh, nope. I uh, forgot again. Both barrels at once. Did I just lose my... Okay, cool. I think we won. If, well, no. It never really stops. The fighting never stops. It just keeps going. Oops. Shooting rockets at me. Boom. Boom. Oh, well, that took care of that problem. <laughs> oh, guys, stop ch shooting rockets at me, man. Oh, man. All right. I think that's a. Uh, that's a bit. Uh, that's enough for today. <laughs> Let me just get out of this chaos here. Little, uh, little uh burger sentries there oh man oh yeah i am sweating lots here just moving around but uh let's find a quieter place get a nice uh, quiet area over here here we go so yeah there we go those are the new weapons meat fortress stuff Pretty cool though. It's, it's so big I can't even fit it uh, in video screen. Probably. I want to check. There we go. But 
You got the uh, aerial denier. Looking like the heavy just like ripped off uh, a mounted, uh, you know, one of those anti-aircraft guns. <laughs> and then you've got the, uh, the big boomer. Which... It's funny that uh, this thing isn't... Uh, the recoil isn't too bad on this. Although the... The shooting both barrels at once is kind of, um, um, you know, it's it's cool, but I would prefer it if it didn't, if we had a switch so that, you know, we could shoot uh, either barrel. But it's still cool. It's still cool. I love it. Oh, and uh, for I forgot about the uh, bear trap, which is uh, very kind of hard to use during this mode because... Everything is just popping off so, so much. But I think this would probably be a good fit for take and hold. You know, just uh, defend a doorway. And it's not an explosive, so it's not going to kill you. So that's pretty good. But anyways, those are, uh, those, that's what the uh, latest update for H3VR has brought. The latest couple of updates, actually. Oh, man. All right, 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 all right. Let's go back to the main menu where it's quiet. But yeah, that's uh, that's the latest two updates for H3 VR. And uh, all right, that's about it for today. Oh, <laughs> that grenade explosion. Those uh, grenade effects are pretty cool. Still, they might be a little annoying. I might turn them off for recording, but I like them. I like them. The whole, like, uh, tinnitus and, uh, screen shake. Oh, there it is. Come on. Whoop. Whoop. There we go. But that was, like, last, last, last week's uh, update, right? The grenades. All right. Well, enough messing around. That's about it for today, and, uh... I will see you guys whenever next time.